what do you think about VO3 being available to everyone now? It's awesome! Yeah, that's yeah. Free. yeah! Yeah! Google VO3 can now be accessed globally. In this video, I'll be telling you which tools you can use to access it. We'll also be looking at the cost of generating these videos and we'll also get a full tutorial because I will be creating some videos right in front of you. So let's get started. Yesterday, 6th of June, most of the all-in-one AI platforms like Leonardo AI, Crea AI, OpenArt AI, FreePick AI and a lot of others finally incorporated VO3 into their platform. In this particular video, I'm going to be using OpenArt AI because that's one of my favorite out of all of these and I'm going to be showing you the entire process through it. So let's get started first of all by seeing how much will it cost us. So once you do create your account on OpenArt, I have given the link in the description. Let me just show you the pricing plans because this cannot be done on the free plan simply because it costs too many credit credits as you're going to find out. So on OpenArt, the pricing is pretty decent. I would suggest you go for the advanced plan uh, and if you see the monthly cost, it is $29 a month and you get 12,000 credits per month. You can use different AI tools here, but we are interested in VO3. So how many credits does VO3 utilize? VO3 allows you to generate an eight seconds video and it'll cost you 2,500 credits for a single video. That is something that is, let's put it this way, it's not very cheap. In fact, I've done the math for this. Uh, when it comes to open art, since they gave us 12,000 credits, it is $0.76 per second of generating a VO3 video. Since it's an eight second video, that means one video on OpenART using VO3 will cost you $6. And that is something, that kind of usage is something we have never seen before for any of the video generation tools out there. So you have to be very careful when it comes to creating your prompts, because if you get something wrong, that is $6 just gone for a toss. So let's move on to the next part. How do you exactly generate these videos? So if I go on to the main interface of OpenArt, which you'll see once you've logged into your account, we're simply gonna go on to this tab that says videos. And here you will be able to access VO3. So for that, you have to select the text to video model. Right now on VO3, you cannot generate videos using an image or a frame. I'll talk about that, where that is possible towards the end of the video. Right now, you simply have to give it the prompt and just generate the video. You can see here also, let me actually just select the model first. So it's by default set, set to Kling 2.1. We're gonna select VO3. You can say it says new. So you can see here, it's a very minimal interface. You basically don't get any options apart from just typing in the prompt. This image to prompt is something different. This is if you're just generating your prompt using an image, this is not image to video. So right now, let's see how to generate this prompt. I have already generated two of the videos. Let's look at the video that we saw at the start of uh, this What do you think about video. VO3 being available to everyone now? It's awesome! Yeah, that yeah. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! So you can see from a realism point of view, this is absolutely amazing. You show this to a person, let's say, who doesn't know about AI tools or VO3, they're gonna absolutely think that this is real. There's nothing AI about it. So that's already something that everyone knows that this is the best video generator out there. However, you have to be a bit careful with the prompting because like I said, it is pretty expensive. So for the same video, let me show you the first trial uh, video that I got here. It's awesome. <laughs> So what happened here was that my prompt wasn't as good as for this particular video and therefore it just kind of didn't make sense. They just said awesome and nothing really happened out there. So what happened, I was creating these prompts from ChatGPT. So let me actually show you. So I went to ChatGPT, I said, I wanna generate a video in VO3 where a female reporter is interviewing a woman on a street who's wearing a fancy dress and a party is going on and all these things. And I, in a very rough way, I just uh, told it about the dialogues, okay? So it gave me a very detailed prompt and this was the prompt that I actually used for that first video which didn't work. And in my opinion, why it didn't work was because this was just written in one paragraph and you know, in the part where it says, the woman cheerfully responds, it's awesome. In my opinion, I think VO or whatever the algorithm is, it just got confused as to who's saying what and it just messed up the entire video. So what I did was just went down and then I told ChatGPT, 
that I created this video, but it got confused as to who's saying what. So make a simplified, smaller version of it where it's clear, you know, about the everything about the dialogues. And that's when it gave me this prompt, which was you know, very simplified. And you could see that everything was written properly. The reporter says this. It described the scene at the start. The woman who's being interviewed says this. And then both together say, yeah. So this was much better. And this is ultimately what gave me that uh, better looking video. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to use the same strategy here also again for the next video that I'm going to generate in front of you. So what I've done here is, and I've not generated it up till now, so even I'm going to see the results right when you see it. So I've just written here, uh, great, that turned out well. So we will use the same way of prompting for the next video also. The next video should be about a man who is a real estate agent. He is displaying a swimming pool in a suburban house and talking something about it. I will leave the dialogue up to you, but remember it should not be too long since VO3 only generates videos with a maximum length of 8 seconds. Some sh uh, Same short simplified uh, prompt like we used for the last video. And currently, ChatGPT has given me this particular prompt, which is a male real estate agent is standing next to a clean modern swimming pool in the backyard of a suburban house. He gestures towards the pool and says, uh, this is the highlight of the house, perfect for relaxing or entertaining. And he smiles confidently and all these things. The only thing I, uh, I just went down and I said, he should mention the word swimming pool in this sentence. And now we've got finally our prompt. And what we're going to do is we're going to first of all see what happens when we do it in such a structured way. But we'll also create another video where we just type one line that a real estate agent is displaying a swimming pool and we leave it up to VO3 to figure out what it has to do and we'll see which one comes out to be uh, better. So let's do that. We're going to go back to our video generator. We can't really do anything. So there's only thing we can do is just paste this in. So this is the structured one and you can see 2500 credits will be charged. Let's hit create and let's see the result. And by the way, talking about the result, it takes around. Uh, so in open art, you get something called as turbo points, uh, which also expire, by the way. But right now I'm using my turbo points. That means these videos get generated much faster. So I've seen right now uh, the turnaround time is around one minute or 90 seconds. So it's pretty fast. So let's just wait for this. All right. So that took around 125 seconds to generate around two minutes. Not bad at all. So let's see this video. This swimming pool is the best part of the house. Great for relaxing or entertaining. This swimming pool is the best part of the house. Great for relaxing or entertaining. This so I think again from the realism point of view this is absolutely stunning. Only thing was I think when he just gestures and makes this thumb gesture if you just zoom in to this this just looks a bit unnatural. So, but apart from that, I mean, if you just look at this, I mean, it was still absolutely amazing. I think it kind of gave an Australian accent to the person. I had not mentioned that. Uh, let's just see if it followed. We can see our prompt here. So let's just see this swimming pool is the best part of the house. Great for relaxing or entertaining. Let's see if he exactly said the same thing. So. This swimming pool is the best part of the house. Great for relaxing or entertaining. So. He exactly followed the prompt. So that's absolutely amazing. Now what we're going to do is let's just type in a simple prompt here and let Vio do the hard work and then we'll see if that video is better. All right, so for the simplified prompt, this is going to be our prompt, a male real estate agent showcasing the swimming pool in a suburban house and talking about it. So I've just written this myself and let's just put it right here. Now the 2,500 credits gone and... So they do have this auto enhance feature on, which is obviously it can make this better. But right now I just exactly want to see the results for this. So let's just hit create and let's wait for this. All right, so this time it took 141 seconds to generate. Let's open this up. You're going to love this backyard with this. You're going to love this backyard with this amazing swimming pool. Friendly roll up here pool. Friendly roll up here pool with this amazing swimming pool. Friendly roll up here pool. You're gonna So I think in this case, if you actually see the scene and everything, I think it just slightly looks better than the video, the earlier video, but then you could see halfway through when he was finishing his dialogue, he just mumbled some uh, AI words which, which didn't really make sense. So yeah, this is kind of still a work in progress and you know, we all are still experimenting with what works, but I think it's pretty clear that it's always a better idea to exactly mention the dialogue that, you know, your character has to stay uh, or say rather.
Now, what are some of the things that uh, you should know? So first of all, there's again, like I said, there's no way to change anything. Like the aspect ratio is going to be 16 is to 9. You can't change it. Uh, more importantly, the resolution right now is standard definition here. So it's uh, 1280 by 720 pixels, which is not that great, but good enough for social media. And you can always use some AI video upscaling tools out there to increase the resolution. But the main thing that is currently missing, which everyone has been rightly talking about, is that most of these platforms still haven't incorporated the image to video feature when it comes to VO3. Because without that, we are basically just generating random videos and we can't really maintain any sort of consistency. For example, in this case or this case, if I want to make the next scene, but I want this person exactly to be the same that will require image to video generation because we should have that frame with us. Now that is possible in VO3, but for that you have to access VO3 by using Google's filmmaking tool, which they recently released, which is Google Flow, which is again not available everywhere and it's also very, very expensive. So what we are waiting for right now is that these kind of tools like OpenArt also soon incorporate that. And then it's obviously gonna be a game changer because Let's be honest, when it comes to the realism, we've simply never seen anything like this before. So if you want to follow along all my experiments with VO3 and other image and video generators and editors out there, then make sure you subscribe. And in case this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like and I will see you next time.